Howdy howdy guys and gals, it's vlogging time. And that's over 32 degrees out here. In the middle of January. Wow. Oh, feels like a summer day almost. I'm not kidding, it actually feels really nice out. And I got this big heavy jacket on, but anyways. I am going over to, like I said twice in my last video, pick up my tabs for the this car and my camper which is sitting in storage. And then uh, also apologize for two videos ago that froze again. Seems like whenever I try to slap them up and rush them, it, it does that. I don't give it time to actually fully load properly. And I just kind of try and spit it out the door. So. I actually take my time, let it load it up correctly, and then I, you know, push it. Then you usually come out right. So I am going to go now because I don't want to let the car warm up. And uh, those meat selling people are really getting in. Oh, there's trailer house getting moved in. Way down there, can you see it? It's half of a double wide. It's either getting moved in or moved out. I don't know. Anyways, like I was saying, those meat people are getting annoying because they're like a plague right now. There's like 30 of them, even, I swear, in this area. Because so I see a black one, a white one, and a red one constantly. And I don't want to buy a meat in bulk. I'm sorry. What was that movie with uh, Everybody Loves Raymond in it? Uh, grilled. Have you ever seen Grilled? That's funny. They're door to door meat salesmen. Yeah. It's a good movie. Um. I had something to say. What the heck was it? Oh, um. It is. Crusted salt on the windshield. Woo! Just watching uh, My Flippin' World. He is doing another 40 video. Where he drinks a 40 and talks. This time he was doing a Colt 45. The time before that was a Magnum, and the time before that was an Old E, Old English. I actually stumbled across uh, the small 40s section that the liquor store in town has. And they really didn't have anything but Colt 45, which I thought was funny because it took him a while to find Colt 45. So, I don't know. I thought that was kind of, uh, kind of a little twist. And yeah. I am talking a lot because I've been up all night. Can't really say I've been up for a long time, but ooh, there's a it's a Ford, but there's a red and black van, or red and gray and black. But uh, yeah, I've just got energy, and I figure with my night schedule, I got to stay up and get things done in the morning because usually if I sleep, then that's torture to get myself up before stuff starts closing. Especially government stuff like this. But I will stop talking for a little bit and cut to you when I cut to you. How do you like my uh, shower curtain back there? <laughs> Pretty badass, huh? I like it. And I think I showed this all to you before, but it got really sweet. Matching um, thingy, thingamabobbers, and a matching rug. Woohoo! Protein. Heavy. Um, this, I'm totally random right now. Uh, hell yeah. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Reader and editor pick game of the year. These people know. And that's after everybody knows that it has glitches and bugs in it. That's a good game. Anyways, I have been up all night because I slept really, really, really late. 
and it's almost 41 degrees out. Look at that beautifulness out there. It's almost 41 degrees out. In January, in Minnesota, almost February. It's January 31st. Um, so, I don't want to go to bed. So I think I'm going to stay up till about 6, sleep till midnight, and then get up, and then, you know, do my workout, and then go to bed. So that's 6 hours of sleep, 6 hours of being up, 7 hours of being up, right around there, 8, 9, then go back to sleep for like 8. Then work for two days, and off for two days. Off for three days, actually. That's the weekend coming up. So, I'm going to make coffee again. Woo! And I'm, you know, not too OCD. At all. No. Sexy vacuum. Oh. Oh, Chuck Dasta. That was Sam's hair, because I couldn't aim correctly. <laughs> I'm over uh, at Sammy W's. No, uh, he's gonna... Suck something from somewhere. The power steering fluid from the power steering pump, and we're going to put in some Lucas oil power steering stop leak. And it also renews worn rack and pinions. Actually, this stuff works great. It reduces whines on your power steering and all that stuff, so it's good. Bought one of these fluid suction. As you can tell, I've already used it, but. Uh, on what? <clears throat> Yeah, it's that time of the month. <laughs> so, but actually, these work really good. They're like ten bucks. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be sucking the rest of the uh, power steering fluid out of the reservoir, and I didn't do the whole thing just because it was colder than hell. And now it's like almost fifty. Colder than a witch's titty. In January, almost February in Minnesota, and it's fifty. It's warm. So it's gonna suck going to Florida because it's gonna be like the same weather. Oops. Maybe by 10 degrees warmer. That's about it. Whoop. What the F? Whoopsies. <laughs> Whoopsies. Toasty. Literally. <laughs> yes. I'm going to show you a little trick. So what you do is you get down in there. Suck all the shit out. <sighs> and then you pour it into a clear container. It's kind of gross because the power steering, that's uh, the red stuff is Lucas Oil stop, and the other like brown shit is uh, old power steering fluid. So what I'm doing is pumping the old shit in there because the thick brown Lucas stop, stop leak, and try and get as much as I can out of there. So the reason I've been putting it in this clear glass is so I can level up how much more uh, fluid I need to put in there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is come on over here. It's pretty gross, as you can tell. It hasn't been changing in quite a while. Okay, so put it on level surface. Take your Lucas stop leak shit. And it's like molasses. This shit is really thick. And kind of level it up until it gets to the amount that you had in there, just a boot. It's a little bit more just because you're not going to get all of it because it's so thick. So that's a tiny bit more than what I need, but that's okay because I won't get it all. And then what you do is come over here. <clears throat> Suck all your shit up. You can also do this with a funnel, but I don't have one. And just pump it, the new shit, right in there. Like I said, you won't get all of it because it's so thick. That's what she said. Uh, to loosen it up, I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. Just a smidge, just to kind of thin it out. Not a whole lot because that just defeats the purpose. Now it'll be way easier to pull out. That's what she said. Yeah, way easier. Pump that shit in there. Excuse me. You're excused. Thank you. You may have to repeat this two or three times, just depending on how much you got. The remaining stuff, <clears throat> like I said, you won't get all of it in there, but you'll get most of it. Bada bang, bada boom. Hey, folks. Uh, yeah, just got up since I stayed up all day. Then I got, came home about five, four ish. Went to bed about five. 
got up now at midnight and am going to put this video up and then catch up on some YouTube. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm trying to get my vlogs a little bit more exciting by getting some actual footage of something else. So, hope you enjoy it and um, I think I figured out why my videos keep freezing. So, I'm going to start working on that. Take it easy, zombie squad, and I will. See you tomorrow. That's right.